Atlanta's number one hip hop station, Hot Wheel 079. It's my Asia Simone live on your Saturdays. And this Saturday is like no other because I've had the honor and I'm having the honor and I'm super honored to have a legend in the building all the way from New Orleans. Everybody right. knows him as BG, a.k.a. B. Jizzle, yeah. a.k.a. Baby Gangsta. Yeah. The original hot boy yeah. is in the studio right now. I get the first interview, yeah. first time in Atlanta in 13 years. How does that 12 feel? 12 winners in 13 summers. It feel good, Ooh. man. I love Atlanta, man. 12 used to live winners. Here, like 07, 08. So, you know, it's always been love in the A, man, since day one. But, um, yeah, it definitely feel good to be back in the city. What was the first thing you did when you got out? Oh man, the first thing I got out, the first thing I did when I got, I had to report to the halfway house. You know what I'm <laughs> so yeah, I, 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 uh, I stopped and got me some chicken, and then I went and turned myself in. <laughs> oh man, yeah. I, I hate it, but I love it at the same time because no. you're free now. You know, Facts. your energy is high. You, I could feel the positivity that that is like pouring through your pores right I now. Appreciate it, and I man. think you're in a good space. Um, how were you mentally when you were incarcerated? Like, what helped you get through those days? Because I know it's not easy sitting in those walls no, and having to think not. for that long time. Oh man, I, I I did a lot of reading. You know what I'm saying I, I I did a lot of writing. Um, my fans really like helped me get through it, man. I used to get a lot of letters. You know what I'm saying from fans like all over the all over the country, like and even out the country and and. You know, that love that I used to get from people that I didn't even know just sending me encouraging words and, you know, telling me to keep my head up, telling me, you know, that they was waiting on me. It just made me feel appreciated because for real, for real, I thought it was over for me. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, yeah, to, to get that love from the fans and, and just, you know, have my family, you know, riding with me, my kids and things like that, making me just, you know, know they miss me and then reminded me that they miss me, reminded me that they was waiting on me. That pretty much got me through because um, it definitely ain't no walk in the park. See, God had a plan. He gave you a second chance. Nah, and so with facts. that second chance, you know, TYC, you really stood tall on Take Your Charge. Um, why is that so important? Because, you know, it's a little different now. The times yeah, are yeah. different. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> Tell me about it. But, um, I mean, nah, I, I just, you know, that's that's how I grew up, man. And, and you know, I just, I wouldn't have been able to look in the mirror. You know what I mean? Like, and, and, and you know, that meant more to me than anything, just being able to wake up, look in the mirror, and, you know, doing my time and my integrity, doing it with me. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, even though it, it hurt and, and, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, I missed a lot, you know, out of my kids' lives, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, they ain't had to grow up being called the son of a snitch or, you know, my yeah. mama could go in a hairdresser and, and hold her head up and, and, and walk the streets. And With not no being, issues. Exactly. Yeah, not looking over except, your shoulder. Right, right. Yeah, that's, so, that's important. Yeah, and and I wouldn't have felt out of, I, no, I just, you know, trying to lessen the consequences on myself by taking another man away from his family. That's just not no man stuff to me. No, nah, that, that makes a lot of sense. You know, like with the justice system, it's crazy. It's confusing because there's just a lot that we see every day with just the culture, especially yeah. the black culture, having yeah. to deal with the court system and the judges. You know, what's your take on the whole justice system <clears throat> as, a, as a whole? I mean, it's, it's I mean, you know, it's, it's designed to... I mean, it, it's designed to, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. to, to, you know, just hold us back and, you know what I'm saying, you know, to, to, to you know, have single mothers out here and, 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 and fatherless kids. Like, it's just messed up in, in my eyes. I mean, yeah, it's crazy. It's if you crazy. had to play a role, and I know you probably don't ever want to play that role, but mm -hmm. if you had to tap into the justice system and take over, what department would you put your hand in to try to switch things around? I mean, uh, 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 I know in the feds, you know, the, the Congress, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just changing some of these laws. The man. laws. They got some draconian laws out here, man. <laughs> you know, they, they, they giving dudes more time, you know, for drugs than they giving pedophiles, you know yeah, what I'm saying? For touching yeah. all their kids and, you know, things mm -hmm. of that nature. So I would change the laws, man, because, um, yeah, these mandatory minimums is, is, is crazy. Yeah, and it's getting worse. It's getting they, worse. At this point, they, it's, it's no mercy at, at all. all. They ain't holding back. Nah, they not. They so you not. had Boosie hold you down. You had Tip. That's a Baby. Fact. Who am yeah. I missing? Um, Tracy, man. You know what I'm saying? My my sister, you know, slash manager, she really did every day with me, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm talking about from the moment I walked through the door to... This Tracy you, right here? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, to, yeah she a real to, one. I can tell. To, uh, <laughs> I came home but um yeah that's 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 and yeah my just my I 
Yeah, and my family. <laughs> and, and like I said, my fans, man. Shout out to T.I., man. Shout out to Pussy. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Stunner, man. They definitely came through for me in a major way, like every time I needed them. I mean, especially Tip, man. I remember it was a time where I, I called him and, and, and he was in Africa shooting a movie. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, man, what's up, man? Talk to me. Woo, woo. And he told me what he was doing. I'm like, oh, man, I'm going to call you back. He's like, nah, we could talk, man. I'm, so before the phone hung up, I was like, man, I need you, man, but I'm going to just call you back when you get back to the country. He like, nah, man, what you need, man? And I told him what I needed. And, you know, the next morning I had $5,000 on my books. <laughs> wow. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, he made good. this happen way from Africa. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But, you know, that's just one example of just how real, you know what I'm saying, around Your circle is. You didn't yeah. feel like you were alone during nah, the day? Nah, 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 not at all. Not Was at there all. a significant special lady that held you down, like, during that time, um, I mean, I it was a couple of them, man. You know what I mean? They was in and out, man. You yeah. know what I mean? They was they was in and out. You know what I mean? I, yeah. They, what advice yeah, could they you give to someone who has a significant other while incarcerated? Because I, I know mean, it might be difficult to work it, that out. It, it is hard. I mean, it, 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 everybody ain't built for it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It take a special, you know, type of woman to to really hold a man down. You know, why he in jail? You know what I'm saying? And um. Yeah, if, if you got a significant other in there, and if they were there, but man, like, you know, wrap your arms around them, man, and, 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 and help them get through it because um, they definitely need it. You know what I'm saying? It could, it could be, yeah, hey, you, could, hey, you could lose <laughs> your mind. If you ain't mentally strong and, you know, that lack of support, like, it, it, it gets stressful. You know, you end up doing stuff in there that, that, that you ain't got no business. Like, you could easily end up in, in, in you know, because – Things that's going on on the outside world affect you in there, and mm. it, it just could be all bad, man. So if you got somebody in jail, man, love on them, man, hold them down. So is there a lady now, though? Now that you're out, now that you're free, now that you're on, you're getting, you're moving on up. Is there somebody that's? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you know, what I'm saying you got, got a little yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But we gonna keep that private because <laughs> you look, they get a hold of her, and it's over. Here. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, that's a fact. That's and that's that's most important, man. Like keeping your relationship. Just out of the public, man, mm-hmm. especially, you know, in these days and times with social media and everybody having no opinion and things of that nature. Like, you know, I, I be yearning for my privacy anyway. I come up in an era where, What's your sign? you know, I'm a Virgo. Oh, you know oh yeah, you're private. But, but yeah, yeah I, I be, <laughs> I'm already, my life already open book. And, you know, you're a public figure, so you always under the microscope. But, mm-hmm. yeah, man, I think if you want your relationship to last, you got to, keep it out Hold of the it public, down. man, yeah. Most people while they're incarcerated, they go through a big transition. So out of all that time, who did BG transition into? Who are you now? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, 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 I'm definitely not the same person that, that, that walked through that door, man. And, and that was my main thing, just making sure that I was a better man coming out than I was before I went in. So really, I'm just somebody who, uh, I, I yeah, I'm, I'm just, you know, I try to be the best for all I could be, you know, try to be the best artist I could be, man. I try to stay out the way to BS, man, and, and, and just, you know, live, man. Like, yeah, I'm just I'm just trying to live, I love man. that for you. I love it. I mean, and it's showing, and I, this is my first time ever meeting you, but it's mm. showing I can I can feel the growth, I can feel the maturity. Right. I mean, you even talked about reading a lot of books. So right. what's one book you feel everybody in this on this earth should read? Oh, mm. <laughs> on this earth uh everybody uh, um it, it was this one book i read by uh uh dr joy de grew it was called um what the name of this book man um uh post-traumatic slave syndrome okay you know what i'm saying and wow that was, sounds deep post-traumatic yeah tra- slave post-traumatic syndrome. syndrome wow syndrome. yeah man that that book that was just different and I, I know we ain't going to do a deep dive into that, but that already says enough. So that's yeah. something that I want to go yeah, look yeah, up because yeah, I'm yeah. really look big in. Not reading. It's, yeah, I don't read them. Read. I just kind of listen to them. Right, it. right. Yeah. The audio The audio. I ain't get up. I ain't get on that yet, but because I'm used to just having a physical book, book in my hand, in right? So I don't know how that is mm-hmm. to, to do the audio thing, but I'm going to try it. How has it been adjusting to the free world, your loved ones? Like, has there been any PTSD? Has there been any awkward moments? Yeah, I'm, 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 yeah I mean, I'm, I'm still, it's, 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 it's a process, man. Like, <laughs> it, it, every day I feel like, you know, it, it get better 
and I'm getting more comfortable, you know what I'm saying? Because I was kind of institutionalized, mm -hmm. you know, when I came out. I was gone for a long time, but um, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm getting better with time, man. You have yeah. kids. Yeah. How many? I have four and a stepson. Now, yeah. like myself, I lost my father in 2009 to colon cancer. You unfortunately lost your father to, to murder, murder at 12, at 12, years, 12 old. years old. Yeah. So what does fatherhood mean to you? It, it, it mean a lot, man. You know what I'm saying? Especially with them boys. Like, you know, you, you know that the woman can't, you know, teach a man how, how to, to be, be a, a man. man. Right, right. Same way, you know, a, a man can't teach a girl, you know, how to be a woman, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it, it, it mean a lot, man, because growing up without a father, you know, you could easily get caught up in the streets, man. You know what I mean? And, um, yeah. Yeah, I think that's uh really important, you know, like, and then with you losing your father at such a young age, I do think that, you know, it's good that you're hands-on mm -hmm. and that you're showing And I, I had been in Slim, too, though, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, like you know, they, they really you know, played a, a significant role in my Yeah, because you were you know young. Yeah. Hot yeah. boy young. Yeah, I, I signed a cash money when I was, what, 13? Yeah, that so was, I, I was, you were 13? Yeah, when I first signed, wow. I was 13, yeah. The game is not even like yeah. that anymore. They're not even really, like, y'all were, y'all came off as grown men at 13, <laughs> you know? Like, you would have thought y'all were 18, 19, 20. Right, right. Now, yeah, now the stuff that we was rapping about, you know, was grown up music. Like, But do you, were you living that life? Everything I mean, that yeah, you were yeah, rapping. I mean, when, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, you don't put a little, yeah, yeah. on it. You know what I'm saying? A little cut on it. But <laughs> right. for the most part, I was off the porch. Yeah. You feel like you grew up too yeah. fast? Absolutely, yeah. I definitely was uh, was, 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 was was robbed of the typical childhood. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I was doing, yeah, I was doing, I was a man child. What's something that you wish you could have done that you didn't do like is it disney world is exactly it, is that, that like that's that. what it is yeah, yeah. you didn't get a I'm, chance to nah when i was young hell nah i didn't get to do none of that man you know what I mean? nah not at all but man. you can still make it happen now yeah nah nah i didn't been I, oh you been I, I, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay yeah 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 i love to i love to do like i'm just a happy go lucky person right so <laughs> you know behind closed doors you see my image and see you know listen to the music and figure it's mm -hmm. just but I'm really uh, like a teddy bear behind closed doors, though, for <laughs> real. <laughs> no, I can tell. I want to deep dive into these finances because, I mean, you've been around money your whole life. Cash mm -hmm. money is dollar sign attached to it. You know, mm -hmm. when we think of Hot Boys, cash money, Chopper City, we just think about money and, you know, like wanting to live that life and wanting to create financial stability for ourselves so that we can, you know, do similar things. You talked about uh, going to Miami to buy a condo. Now... What else are you investing into? Are you, did you do that yet, or are you yeah, gonna? I'm in the process of doing all that. I'm just getting my feet up under me right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, Taking I ain't this been love. out the halfway house uh, a couple of months, maybe. Really? You know what I mean? Then he had months. a gag order on me for like four months where I couldn't put no music out, mm -hmm. couldn't drop no videos. Mm -hmm. Basically, it was trying to stop me from making a living. You know what I mean? But yeah. I ended up going to court and, 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 and fighting it and, and, and got it behind me. And you me. got it so behind you. So now, now you can release music. Can, now you can move how you yeah, want. Yeah, and I can run this bag up, man. So say yeah. I got $2 million for you right now when you walk up out of this studio. Mm -hmm. What's the first thing you're going to do with it investment-wise? Oh, um, man, I'm going to probably go uh, get some real estate. I might... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm. A, I think I'm. A, I think I'll go get some real estate. <laughs> real estate. Yeah. First thing, I think that'll be yeah. smart too. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's get into this music. So there was a bidding war at some point. I know Gucci offered a million. When he came <laughs> out. I don't know if he gave it to you. I know you're trying to figure out what you were gonna do, but you want to take things slow just yeah, so you don't yeah, end up in yeah. similar situations. Uh, right. What's your situation? You know, I know you said something about a distribution deal. Mm -hmm. I, I'm I'm betting on myself this time, man. You know, okay. you know what I'm saying? Like I I, I want to you know just I wanted that creative control. I wanted to be independent. Like, I, I wanted to just, I want to eat more on the back end. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Because, you know, when you be taking all that money up front, yeah. you know what I'm uh, saying? You then, still owe so much on exactly, the back. Exactly. You yeah. liable to never see a check. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. you know, I want to take less up front and, 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 and really invest in myself. You know what I'm saying? And just have the distribution. So, yeah you haven't you've had the best of both worlds you yeah. signed early and now you're betting on yourself what advice would you give to other artists somebody who's coming up in the game like if they say pg what should i do should i sign or should i bet on myself i mean, it, it, I mean you know what worked for me might not work for him or what worked for him might not work for him mm -hmm. so it depends on your situation you know what i mean like mm -hmm. you know you definitely 
you know, don't want to get tied up into, you know, a situation where you probably can't even get out of, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So, you know, it, it, it depends. It, it, it depends. It, it, it yeah, it depends on, on who the artist is, who mm-hmm. the person is, you know, what the situation look like. It all depends. Yeah. We talked about 17, 17 albums, extensive catalog. Mm-hmm. What are your top two music goals right now? Oh, my top two music goals. Um, uh, hmm. Like far as working like, with somebody, or just yeah, if you as, have uh, any dream collaborations or you got a goal you want to meet, like okay, I want this song to like just any goals yeah, you yeah, have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, I want a number one record. I mm. want a couple of more platinum plaques. I want, <laughs> you know, what I'm saying, I just want to be great, man. I just want to contribute to the culture. You know what I'm saying, and 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 add on to my legacy. And you know, when it's all said and done. Uh, you know, when I decide to hang it up and ride off into the sunset, just be remembered as somebody who did it the right way. You know what I'm Dream saying? collaborations. Um, mm, I see you got an OVO shirt on. Nah, that's a f- oh. drizzy. You're a man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta, I gotta get my Drake feature. That's 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 first and foremost. And, um, <laughs> Who else, man? I'm 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 a I'm a I'm a I'm a, I'm a Lil Dirk fan too. Oh wow! You, know what I'm you haven't I would, I teamed would. up with Dirk, no? Yeah, nah, 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 nah. nah Have yeah. y'all met before? Mm-mm, I ain't run across him yet. Wow, mm-hmm. well, we got to make that happen. I feel yeah. like it's accessible, but it's all it has to be organic. Yeah, you nah, can't that's just a be. Fact. That's a yeah, fact. you can't just get on the phone and be yeah, like, "Hey, I'm old school, man." You know what I'm saying? Like, if yeah. it ain't real, it ain't me. You yeah, know what I'm saying so. It gotta be organic. Yeah. Now, you've had a big journey. I mean, you got to work with, be around some of the greatest. I feel like you live life so early. What was your favorite cash money memory? Oh, man, probably. Um, I ain't lying. So I, some, of, some of my happiest times was before the deal, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I had like four albums before we signed to Universal. You know what I mean? And, you know, before... Yeah, before we got that thirty million dollar deal with Universal, and we blew up like nationwide, and and just you know started having all them big records and all the success, and and just being all over the place, like, cause it's a lot that come with that success, man, and 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 the money, and and you know it, everything that's attached to it. So I ain't gonna lie, some of my happiest times probably was 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 you know before the deal when it just was for the love of the music, man. Yeah, is that Hot Boys album dropping soon? Um, yeah, we definitely we we me and me, me and Wayne talked about it. You know what I mean? <laughs> me and me and Juve talked about it. Me and Juve actually, you know, they've been in the studio and did a lot of recording together. Um, I got Wayne on my new album. Um, I got another record that that I just sent him the other day that he uh sending me back. We doing no official, you know, Hot Boy reunion concert November second at mm-hmm. the Louisiana Fest. Mm-hmm. So. You know, we just gonna take it one step at a time, man, and and let it happen organically. <laughs> and then, as far as the no limit cash money going on tour, like, what do you think about that? Because I know that's something that I the think, fans. Have been I wanting. think that would be big for the culture. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, I'm I'm definitely, you know, not against it. Like, you know, I, I got a lot of friends. Mia X is a, a really good friend of mine. Like, Fiend is a really good friend of mine mac is a you know really really good friend of mine mm-hmm. you know I don't, I don't know p like that but um yeah no nah, I, I think that would be dope and then after a louisiana fest you got super bowl and that's been one of the things where everybody's been talking about mm-hmm. like wayne should have been a part of it because right. we know if wayne would have got on that all of y'all would have been nah, out and i think that would have been huge so we got to you know hear and see how juvie felt about mm-hmm. it but how does bg feel about that as a whole that decision I mean, I, 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 you know, I, I think Shorty had worked his whole, you know, career and his whole life for that moment. I mean, I, I definitely feel like, you know, he, he deserved it. You know, he got the catalog to back it up. Uh, icon status, like, I mean, I mean, numbers don't lie, right? You know what I'm saying? He's a rock star, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think it's nobody you could pretty much mention in the same breath as him besides Jay, you know what I'm saying, when it come down to you know, music and, and, and the contributions that he made, you know, to music. Like, I mean, it was one point where he single-handedly saved hip-hop. You yeah, know oh, yeah, like, that was like, a moment. Like, yeah, nah, that's a fact, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, and, and yeah, I, 
I mean, yeah, I, 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 but I understand the politics too. You know what I mean? Because but, um, Kendra had a big year, and I mean, you know. but you know, <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, it's it's crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I, I, I definitely think he deserved it, but you know, it, it is what it is. Well, I think Louisiana uh, Fest is going to be super big, you know, oh, yeah, because yeah, he yeah. was like slighted from that. I feel like the culture is really going to show up for that. Oh, yeah, so, it's so loud in like two days. Yeah. What are you yeah, looking forward to the yeah. most uh, in that in that time with y'all all being together? Is it going to be everybody? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. going to be all of us. It's yeah, going to be everybody. Yeah, yeah, okay. the whole gang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be everybody. It's, it's going to be... It's, it's gonna be a movie, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying I'm I'm excited, like to see, you know what I mean, like 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 the the response, you know, the <laughs> feedback, like because yeah. they've been asking for it for a long time, you know what I mean, and um, I think it, it was long overdue, man. Mm-hmm. Everybody, then you know did they reunions and and i think we like it's the time. last ones left that you know had a real movement and say the best for real... last <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's what it's about yeah, yeah um so nah, you've been pushing be yeah it is and you've been pushing a lot of records you got uh well i know the main one you, you're pushing is back in the back field in with the field, yeah. birdman mm-hmm. and you've also been recording with jacques you also been you just been putting out like every time i look up on youtube it's a new, new song new video <laughs> right, right so talk about that back in the field with birdman and then we'll get into the other music Oh man, me and Bird, we 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 just came up with an idea of, of, of doing a a, a, a quick mixtape together. So we we did an album together called Sugar and Pop, and um yeah, this is like the first single you know off that project, and um yeah man, and and he asked me to be a part of the uh, you know him and Jacquees they had did the Lost at C one mm-hmm. and the Lost at C two, so. He asked me to be a part of the Lost at C3 with him and Ja Quiz. And so me, him, and Ja had got in the studio and, and, and knocked the project out. So I've just been trying to be consistent, you know, and, and it's just work, man. I got a lot to talk about, a lot to say, <laughs> you know, a lot of catching up to do, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And I feel like I was born a rap, man. So yeah. I just be in there just getting it. Vibing. <laughs> Vibing. So what's next for BG? What are you pushing? What else are you working on? What can we expect? Like, what can oh, we expect to see? Man, I know you're taking it I'm, slow. I'm doing, I'm, I got a couple of uh, independent movies uh, that, that, that I'm going to do. Um... I'm gonna do a lot, yeah. I'm gonna do a lot acting. I'm gonna do my autobiography. <laughs> what kind of role is BG um, playing? Uh, <laughs> 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 hey, I, 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 ain't, I, don't, I mean, you know, the, the, the first two is gonna be, you know, some typical, you know, me, some hood roles, <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying? Something that I know right. I could attack and knock mm-hmm. out easily. Uh-huh. And then I might try to switch it up and tap into my drama side. You know okay. what I'm saying? <laughs> and see if you dig if I, I really, that. really got it. You know what I'm saying? But I think I do though. Who's your uh, like your top actors that or top, or actresses that you would want to work with? Um damn, that's a good question, man. Probably like a I know that's that's Denzel. Or Denzel, like that. it's not. Yeah. Far, I mean, it's you know up there, but it's up there. Any but manifestation you think is, big. You yeah. Know what I mean? you know what I'm <laughs> so yeah, Denzel, man, that's a fact. Well, we appreciate you so much. Man, the Falcons so play love, the Saints man. tomorrow. You and Boosie will be at Opium tonight. Facts. You're going to kick it. You're only in Atlanta for, what, 48 hours. Uh-huh. Tell everybody how they could tap in with you, keep in contact with you. Man, hit me up. That's the that's the fastest, quickest way on Instagram, man. <laughs> New underscore you answer BG your DMs. Hollywood. I ain't gonna lie, it be like a million of them in there. You know what I mean? But <laughs> I do be, I do, I do, I do, I do. I be answering them. I ain't gonna lie, I be answering them. And I wanna present you with something because I think, you know, for you giving me the first interview oh, ever oh, wow. in Atlanta, well, not ever in Atlanta, but wow. just coming back after 13 years, wow. this is something that I made, you know, for wow. you stopping by. That's so going this in is my for house. you. <laughs> like, literally, that's going in my house. You really? On the wall Aww. immediately <laughs> when I get back. That's some yes, a fact. I'm put it in my studio. Yeah, it's and definitely like, your journey. You man, know, like nah, a lot of familiar see, faces. I'm looking at it. I'm mm-hmm. like, wow. <laughs> now nah, you put some real thought into that, some real creativity. I, I have some it. help too. So I love it. I love it, man. <laughs> but you yes. about to make me shit. <laughs> man. I don't know about to do stuff like this for me. Man. Nah, I appreciate it. Well, for yeah. Real. On behalf of Hot 1079 and my Asia nah, Simone, nah, we thank, thank you for you. stopping by the show. So yeah, this is for you. <laughs> oh yeah. And then I got oh, something yeah. else. <laughs> oh, you know, so my I come, I come bearing gifts. Hey, I, 
Um, so uh, this is just a um, it's a bottle. It's a black on whiskey. You know, I'm coming together. Best friend. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like for real, for real. Now nah, this dope. Oh yeah, yeah. Green with whiskey. So yeah. Whenever yeah. you just feeling like I you need a little I, hero, can't, you just... I can't really drink right now. <laughs> I'm still okay. on paper, but it's going on my bar. It's going on as your bar. As soon as I get off paper, I'm going to crack this joint open. And, ah, you heard me. I'm going a, I'm to a definitely see what it's hitting for. We got anything That's else for That's a fact. Let me see. I think we got something else. Man, hold up. <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh, just, nah, just, that's just love something right there, though, for real, for real. That's, that's a nice. fact. Let me see the front of that bottle. Black on whiskey, baby. <laughs> we gotta support our own, man. Yes. You know what I mean? That's a fact. Keep the money in the community, man. For real, for real. And I don't know if you eat cupcakes, but that was just like a little what? icing on the top. <laughs> <laughs> Do I? <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I'm a smack. Oh, yeah, you got me together. Yeah. yeah. So nah, that's right, so right, fact. You got me together. For, Sliding through Atlanta. Man, so. man, I'm, I'm coming up here every I'm time I come. You know what I mean? No, for real though. <laughs> Thank I'm you. I'm invited back. Yes, you can uh, always so come when back. I come back, I can come kick it. You got to request you gonna me. You want to let me co host this yes. with you or something? Let me co host yeah, this with you. I'm on a night show too. So All right. Monday through Friday, hot at night. It's going to be in Nah, man, whatever you need me for, man, we'll phone call away. I'm here. I got you. Oh, you know I appreciate that. It's all love, man. It's all love. Thank you. Thank you.